Baby Dragon just barely across the river allows some tankage to come in. A couple skellies on the back of the tower that connect, and that will most likely do it, Rich. There you go. Wow. Sergio Ramos taking out Luke Dub's first game of King of the Hill. Very, very nicely played. And, you know, even with the poison in hand, just there weren't a lot of other excellent options for dealing with those skeletons. Ram Rider connects. Balloon wow. does get a Balloon big drop. Balloon again. And Miner to the back of the tower here for Sergio Ramos. Those are some big swings. Balloon coming in. Giant Snowball trying to make enough room. Death damage not quite close enough. Now he just needs to play very, very stout defense and just work on getting Miners to the tower. There's the Miner to the front. Snowball comes down. Ram Rider connects, though. Wow. wow. Oh, my goodness. I was going to say that Snowball might be a bit of an overcommitment, but he would have lost the game had he used it defensively. There was one more word coming. It, it got in there. Graveyard <laughs> opposite direction. Mega Minion doing a little bit of tankage here and a nice chunk taken out by Javi on the right-hand side. Takes That's true. one good Expo connection, but just has not been able to find his way through Javi playing this matchup brilliant. Yep, there's the first Snowball coming in. There's the poison range. Lindsay knows you see him kind of stand up from his podium. And Javi with the thanks. <laughs> we did it, and we are going to set number three. So this time Luke Dubs eats the lightning shot, but gets a minor in down to 66 HP. Poison in. And that princess is celebrating game number one. Goes to Luke Dubs. Yeah, Luke Dubs playing the Royal Recruits and then picking wow. up their very first CRL West victory, unless we've forgotten. Royal Recruits there to wipe off that e Wiz. Guards. Guards. I see, I know. They're on my mind too. <laughs> Front of my head right now. <laughs> you know, you think the fact there's only three of them would tip me off. <laughs> Pekka at the river, very aggressive, very well played. You see there the high goblin cage, not going to do it. That Pekka will connect. And there she goes. Minor last second, but we're still going to get at least one Pekka shot, possibly two here. Yeah, two and the Dark Prince connection. So a wasted minor from Luke Dubs. And Javi with a big lead in the final minute of regulation. Luke Dubs maybe looking in the future, hoping that he could take that right-hand tower, trying to apply pressure on the left, but I really don't think it's going to happen. And very, very nice Dark Prince from Javi Catorze to pick up the Miner. Pretty clear play. Miner was going for that U.S. So here we go, Rich. Looks like we're going the distance in match number two. There you have it. Javi Catorze ties things up. We are going to a third and final game to decide everything. There we go, Battle Ram opposite lane. And that's gonna connect. Yeah. Really nice connection there. Unless Javi falls asleep right now, this should be game number three <laughs> for him and for SK. Yeah, wow, so close. A nail biter for SK, the CRL West Spring number two team. But they, with their new addition of Javi Catorce, come out on top. They are able to hold off most of the damage right now, but the log oh. takes up the Dark Goblin, frees defensively, saves the tower from a whole lot of RG damage. Yeah, I mean, honestly, Rich, I believe that freeze just saved the game. Miner to the back is picked up, but that opens up room for the Lumberjack. That is very, very close. Maybe a big spell is the eighth card in Sam's hand. And I really, really applaud SK Game. I talked early on about how I don't believe they should continue to use their freeze over and over because they probably wanted an offense, but they've done the damage without. Ideally, they would, yes, freeze the tower, get a balloon hit in, but playing it on defense, much, much better. Sam and Morton come out on top. Right now, Sergio is playing this near perfect. In a good position right now, and look oh, at that, that NATO. Could be huge, Rich. He does miss the clone on the Skelly Barrel, but it doesn't matter. Those skeletons are getting tanked for by Woo. the flying machine. That is gonna do it. Wow, Sergio Ramos pulling a fast one. Witch on the inside, and he goes, guess what? Yeah. I have Tornado opposite lane, opening up a clear path to the tower. Game number one, SK. And uses the Goblin Cage to turn back around, giving that Inferno Dragon some extra time to burn. 
Lightning will not clear it off the board. Mega Minion makes some room. Oh. Miner's not going to be enough. Surge this is knows be it. it. That is it. The burst there now within lightning range. Very well played by Javi Catorce. Such a mind game back and forth. And you got to imagine, I, I don't know, is there a but might have seen a poison in that moment if there was one. Yep. And Diego B knows he's in trouble. Yeah, there's just no way to get around this. Miner gonna take the balloon after the ice goal falls down. There is the big bomb drop and a big time repeat of history. SK sweeps Liquid in two sets.